Actually, do I have anything even close? Electronics soldering, principles of leatherworking. I have no welding experience. I just did a massive amount of welding. <laughs> the entire vehicle. I welded, welded, welded. And we got nothing. <laughs> nothing for welding. That's funny. Hey, welding beginner. <laughs> I need small sheet metal. Does it actually consume those? Or do you just need those? Hmm. And it raises fab. Oh, that, wait, that just raises fab. What? Welding raises fab skill? What? <laughs> wait a minute. I guess. There's no welding skill, so of course it raises fab. I, I'm just wondering if it also raises the, uh, the proficiency. We can hope. All right, uh, that's all I can think of to do there. So we'll we'll get some more clean water. Is there any water right along the the forest edge here? There's one there, but that's a little far back. I need one a little closer. Uh, we got the pond right there. I can easily backtrack to there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get our water supply done before, our uh, instead of just sitting here and reading for a few hours. Do, 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 do. Easy way to do it is to uh, just drive up right next to the water. Get within crafting range. Typically six tiles, five spaces away. So this is plenty close. We do have to open the door. So we got water. Shallow fresh water. We've got our kitchen unit right here. We can just say go craft clean water. So... Uh, that one, please. Nope, it is that one. We're going to use our chemistry set, which is attached to our vehicle. And uh, we're going to do lots of water. Batch clean 50, please. Using the chemistry set. And put our knife away. See if we get interrupted. Ignore. Food handling increased. <laughs> Isn't that special? All right, fill the vehicle. That one right there. That got us up to 35. So we need at least one more. Takes quite a while to do that. We'll uh, we'll do it again later. That's more than enough for us for now. All right, we're hydrated. Oh, that's right. I don't have to move anymore. I've got access to everything. So much more convenient. Protein. Actually, I should be saving the protein. I should be chowing down on the butter before it goes bad go back to our butter diet all right crouch wear our blindfold go to sleep use a water purifier why would i care i'm gonna do this once <laughs> it's it's a one-time thing why would i care a lot of people don't understand that these challenges I run, I'm not in them until I die. Because I can live forever easily in damn near any challenge I set up. That's that's not a challenge for me. So <laughs> I don't have long-term needs. Uh, so I'm not likely to consume this water that I'm going to fill up in this 60 liter tank. Maybe I'll have to. And oh no, I'll have to spend another two minutes of real world time. But yeah, there are better ways to do it if you're in a long-term situation. Drop the blindfold, please. Okay, hungry. Um, we're not going to be reading. We're going to hit the road again. So let's have some more butter. But yeah, usually I'm in and out of challenges so quickly that anything that is going to require or, or, or be beneficial long term isn't really something I care about. I'm usually, it's very rare for me to actually see summertime. Most of my challenges, for the vast majority of my challenges, I'm in and out before summer day one. So I'm not concerned about food preservation. I'm not concerned about long-term anything really. Uh, this road network stops. That's not cool. Huh. Yeah, that's not cool. So my other road south got blocked. So I could... 
Looks like we can probably connect into this network. Let's let's back up and do that. So yeah, a lot of the things I do or I don't do that might be quote unquote better. I just I don't really care because they're not going to impact my uh, my challenge gameplay. Shocker Brute. I don't remember a Shocker Brute here last time. Was there a Shocker Brute here last time? Maybe there was. Um, don't care. Whoa! Hey there, Roadblock. Predator, what are you firing over there? Riot Control? Alright, not too worried about Riot Control. <laughs> as long as it's not a 50 cal. 50 cal is the only thing that would scare me. Nope, don't care about any of that. Um, could go up on the silo, but I'm gonna I'm gonna move further into the unknown territory before I bother climbing up on a silo or anything. Oh, is that Hub? I haven't seen Hub in a while. Hey there, Hub. Goodbye, Hub. Radio Tower. With or without wasps? Sure would be nice. Oh, supposedly without. Cool. This will get us a long range view. I'll have to check to see if there's uh, gear. I still need a few components I gotta stock up on. Alright, I've gotta repair my leather jacket again. I need to source some more leather. And some more plastic and a few other minor things. We might do some of that here. Um, I've got all my basics with me. Whoops. This is the screen I want. Um, Alright. Get the uh, SIG out just in case there's a... Whoops! Giant wasp. <laughs> Just in case, there's a queen waiting for me. A 30 out 6 in the telescope again. Uh, sure. And we'll take the map. Activate map. Survivor map. That's a good one. And drop map. Now I'm not as sure I want to take stuff apart here. that oh. so is the problem with these only that you can't see them remotely or is this possibly a hack pro and I just won't be able to tell until they fix the problem I'm not sure exactly what what's the deal here we'll grab it uh, we'll grab one of those one of those move that here Rename Sig to Ziggy the Zig. Hmm. Oh. Uh, combat knife. Ziggy the Zig we are. Ish, yes, 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 and give me three of those. Cool. That's a pretty good supply of uh, some generic electronics parts. All of you, all of you. I want to see if I can take apart that smart lamp. Not sure I can. I think it needed a uh, soldering iron or something. 
Nope, not smart mine. <laughs> not that one. All right, eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Go away, smart lamp. All right, what did we learn? So we knew most of the stuff to the north, and we knew about that. So this is new, right? Two mansions. Oh man, two opportunities for for fitted chainmail. <laughs> Uh, we've got another radio tower. We'd have to drive through town to get through Weir. I... There's the Triffid Grove. We, we spotted the Triffids right up here. I could make that trip no problem. That would get us out to here. Uh, Fire Lookout Tower is not helpful. Looks like we might get connected to that network. That gets us connected to most of this, so I don't have a problem going that way. Yeah, we definitely got to go check out the mansions. We, we don't want to mess up the opportunity for some medieval weapons or armor. So we'll just uh, we'll head that way. Hopefully it's not too chock full of uh, big nasties. We're a little better prepared for them now, but I still have not really been able to upgrade my weapons. We've only... Had limited success in getting my armor upgraded with the plate mail. Which has its negatives. Come on, what do I want? A mace, a katana, and a fitted chain mail. Alright, so all the bedrooms. This is the back side, so there should not be... Uh, there's no external pool. I don't have a lot of maneuvering room is my only problem in regards to uh, running things over. They gave me a bit of room, which is nice. At the library. Zombie predator. <laughs> of course there's a predator. I think that's the li yeah, that's the library. Um get the headlights on. Let's see if we can take a look in the library. Nothing I can see so far that I care about. So there's more books possible here, here, and then a couple in this room as well. Just got to get rid of that predator. Not sure I can go fast enough. Kill him. Nope, I can't back up fast enough. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess we'll just pull him away. Uh, who's that? Barrel Servant. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. We have the new, uh, the new enemies in mansions now. You gotta be really careful. So. I need to get turned the other direction so I can <laughs> go forward. We'll just, uh, lure these guys away. Ah, I should just run them over. I just need to get enough need to get enough room to uh ah, I don't want to get the attention of the body pit. Get my speed up. I don't have much off-road capability in this unless I install a couple more a couple more tires. Alright, predator's right in the middle of the grass, then I'm gonna have to turn slightly to get the other ones. No, oh, we didn't quite get him! Got the predator, but I'm gonna miss the rest of these guys. No way am I gonna try to turn into that. That's too big a turn. I'll end up skidding. I don't want to drift into a an oak tree. Shocker and the brutes, the only other ones I really care about. I don't want to deal with super punches right now either. The rest I can pretty easily handle. Depending on what else comes out of there. Uh let's see. We're not going fast enough. Get all the ones I care about? I think I did. Who else is coming out of there? <laughs> We're not even fighting the spot where I really wanted to fight. Um. Yeah, keep going. We'll make one more pass. 
Hey now. <laughs> did I fumble the controls? Uh, doesn't say I did. Just mis mistimed it. Ah, oh, damn it. I turned out of it a little too quickly. Still got the screecher and a grabber. And some bushes. Not sure I'll be able to go back. Ah, now we got a bloated. We're into that part where it's just going to become more and more and more of these things. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Bumped off the backside again. And we got a headless horror. And a gargoyle. Ah, oh, just barely missed him. Where I don't have the gas mask with me. All right, we're probably gonna get poisoned. Whoops, I was trying to hit him and then turn out of the gas cloud, but I failed. Those are the last two? I think those are the last two that I care about anyway. Probably destroyed the wing mirrors that I haven't really gotten a chance to use again. We're gonna nibble him to death. Yeah, it got me. Oh well. What do we got? Chef knife. Don't care. Don't care. Alright, nothing I care about. Ugh, of course. What do we got? Home repair guide? Eh, no thanks. No books I care about. And again, no books I care about. Should have brought a melee weapon with me. Let's go back and get a melee weapon. Wield. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where did I put the tonfa? Oh, crap. It's supposed to be in the driver's seat with me, right? Uh, I think I lost my tonfa. Oh, wait. Grab. It's pickle. <laughs> uh, every time I forget this, you guys are going to get more and more incentivized <laughs> to rename my crap. Uh gonna be an ongoing battle between the audience and Vormithrax's funky memory <laughs> all right no fun stuff on that mannequin <laughs> all right that's getting pretty ridiculous where is he hitting me in the eyes, in the leg through the armor, in the torso through the armor, in the leg through the armor. So he's beating 95%, 95%, 95%, 95%, and the eyes doesn't count because I don't have the, the helmet shield down. But in a sequence of like four attacks, he beat 95% four times. <laughs> so once again I refer you <laughs> to the name of my armor <sighs> what I'm actually scared of is this 
Another servant. He shouldn't be too bad. I just wanted to get a look at this corner right here, and I failed. I didn't think it was going to take anywhere near this many swings to kill this stupid tough zombie. Nothing. Alright. Hey now. Stay away from me. I'd like to get upstairs, but not too enthused about... All right, the gas is gone, so that part's good. Um, let's get on the other side of the door, then activate the riot helmet. We did have the riot helmet down, though so he did hit us hard enough and or bypass the, uh, the eye shield. So he, he beat 95% on that also. <laughs> That's hilarious. So he, he beat 95% five times. In a very short sequence. Because I did have the uh, the visor down. Hmm, well, let's see. I'd like to find out how tough these servants are. But I'd, whoa! Oh, they can open doors. <laughs> That's right, they're not dead. I don't really want to do it. Let's see. Run mode. Don't want to do it when I'm half stamina and bleeding from the head. Kind of zippy, too. Hey, Headless Horror, who I'm totally dragging right back up to the, uh, the mansion. wasn't carrying much of a weapon. Oh, hello. Well, now we're talking. Hmm. All right, Skell Jug. We will take you out, but we're going to go get my stamina back before we do so. <laughs> hey, it did not succeed. do is here. Let's throw a bandage on real quick. Take some um, tramadol preemptively. I also want to check the vehicle real quick. Repair. Everything else is fine. Mirrors repaired. Everything else is good. Cool. Back in business. <laughs> uh, gauged it wrong. I am not going fast enough to kill a skull jug. He's got a couple of points on him. We'll wipe out this headless horror. Nope, <laughs> failed at that too. Charge! Ah, couldn't get him back under the wheels. Drifted too close to the house. Sure wish I had a full belt of 50 cal. I'd speed this up quite a bit. Although it would also draw a huge amount of zombies right back up into me. There we go. That's what I needed. I just needed to keep them under the wheels. Uh, let's go ahead and move over to the center.
right. What do we got? Servants. All right, let's find out how tough these guys are. Rock for 10. Rock for 36 crits. All right, servant, not too bad, but that's not, that's not the bad one. <laughs> Tommy Necro! <laughs> well, that's not convenient. That servant's about to get back up. Is there anybody else in there with you, Necro? Yep. Oh, slavering biter. Um. Alright, we're gonna bail. There was nothing on that mannequin. Possibly there could be mannequins elsewhere, but the high percentage chance ones have not paid off. This fight could get real ugly, because I have to kill the Necro first, and that would leave the cop and the Slavering Biter, and I, I fear that Slavering Biter. I fear it. So. Let's, uh, play the odds correctly. We'll do a circle around with that poor guy, because he's a big idiot. All right, so unfortunately, we uh, we didn't luck out with this one. The cop and the slavering followed me. Hmm. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm using my pickle. I'm beating them all to death with my fresh pickle. I gotta repair my jacket again too before I lose it. All right, so let's go down to the other mansion. We'll stop somewhere midway and get our. Whoops! Not let anything in the vehicle. <laughs> get our repairs done. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot. Okay, get the bleeding stopped. Activate. Tailor kits. Other police jacket. Nope, don't do that. And everything else is in good shape. Let's go ahead and uh, reinforce pants, and I think that's it. Yeah. Keep on moving. Uh, this one's not as convenient. This one's going to be rougher because it looks like we got a forest blocking the front entrance for me to easily see what's going on in there. And I won't have as easy a maneuvering. Sometimes the indicator is wrong. I've had occasions where the lighter colored green M is not the front entrance. Oops. Let's go verify. So we got the pool. And yep, it is the front entrance. Alright, what else we got hanging around over here? Can't quite get a good angle at the headlights or I need them to be. So far, nothing too scary out front. That's always famous last words. zombies. What are we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six that I can see. I think it's gonna be faster just to run them over. And less hit point damage. Come on, zombies. Oh, and the shocker brute showed up late. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad I, uh, I moved away. That's exactly what you always fear. It's not what you can see that you worry about. At least I can pull them out into a fairly good open area. 
Apparently I broke my, my inboard mirrors. <laughs> we got these big cones of uh, area I can't see. Yep, you're number one, buddy. Shocker brood down. Is that all I'm going to accomplish with the first run? That is all I'm going to accomplish. Second run. Alright, so I don't want to smash into the building. It didn't follow me as far as I was hoping. Right, we've got a couple more. Hey, got a got a bonus one on the turn. <laughs> Every time I go back, there's more. Total quantity. Apparently it's kind of loud when I'm smashing into zombies. Uh, what am I seeing over here? 9 mil ammo. Uh, only one I care about really is that one. And somewhat that one. So I think we'll take the high road. Alright, got the main one. The only other trick is to time your turns properly so you don't leave a diagonal when you're adjacent to something that can step into the vehicle as a hitchhiker. So anytime you're driving and you're doing this kind of stuff, just be cautious about your turn radiuses and your speed. Bring your speed down when you're trying to make a tight turn. So that's why when I go out like this, I'm at 24, which you can see here. But when I'm about to make a turn, I'll drop my speed first. That way I can do a really tight turn and then I kick it back up again. I think I got all but two. <laughs> I think we'll just hop out and take care of these guys. The old fashioned way. Well, let's lure him up onto the bumper. Costs uh, 400 movement points. We'll fight him right there. Make it easy for us. Okay. What do you got up here? Nothing I care about. Hello, Mr. Brute. Well, that's kind of inconvenient. Could have timed that a little better. Hmm. I'm not sure what will take damage-wise from the Brute super punching us in our current gear. Let's find out. Could try to lure him onto the bush. I just gotta be careful of where he punts me. Both of those are 400. All right, right there's where I want. So he'll step onto the bush, costs 400 movement points. That'll give me several rounds to wail on him. Once he's paid those, he'll get his super punch. And I'll go flying backwards, but I'll land in the grass back here. And I shouldn't take that much damage. If I do, he's punching me towards my vehicle. So I'm carefully considering the geometry, the distances, um, the angles, if there's any other enemies nearby. All of that kind of stuff is things that I'm thinking about when I'm doing these kinds of encounters. And making decisions about whether I want to fight this guy, do I want to jump in my vehicle and run him over. All that kind of stuff factors in. So... We'll get a few swings in, and then he'll punch me away. I'll wait in the grass if I don't take much damage, which I shouldn't. He'll step into the long grass, which will slow him down very slightly. Maybe I can get him onto the bush again. Um, so let's see what happens. Well, now that's inconvenient. <laughs> you asshole. That's not what I want, because if he punches me hard enough, I'll smack into the side of my Humvee. Oh, <laughs> uh, game's messing with me. You know. Vorm makes plans, RNG laughs. <laughs> I am not going to step into this space, because then I get super punched into a brick wall. That is guaranteed high level damage and pain. So I either have to back off completely, which then ruins my access to the vehicle, or I gotta do some running around to reorient this. 
Hmm. I'm no longer liking the uh, the, the setup. So we're gonna do it the safe way. turn I might pivot right into the building let's turn anyway <laughs> uh, we got him <laughs> uh, we got him he's down <laughs> already shambler he's up north I'm not worried about him that pivot at the end was important <laughs> it was part of the plan we talk about Again, nothing on that mannequin. And, ah, oh, man. I'm just not having any luck lately. Come on upstairs, give it to me. Uh, empty again. Whoops. Well-dressed feral. What are you looking like? He's got a rapier. <laughs> Fancy clothes and with a rapier in hand. This maniac was once a socialite. Smiles with madness and seems like it wants to invite you to dinner. Yeah, now we're having a little more fun. Lawn darts. I gotta do a lawn dart challenge one of these days. Just tossing lawn darts at people. Seeing uh, if we can kill them. Butter and bacon. Nothing else up here, unfortunately. All right, so yeah, rapier, huh? Yep, he'll drop the rapier. It'll probably be pretty heavily damaged. And I've never been a big fan of the rapier. So there are differing levels of these guys. Some of them, there are some really nasty ones. So that's that's the thing I was mentioning is these new creatures in the uh, in the mansion. So. Part of the new mansion escape scenario, basically. All right, let's wait here. We'll try a few hits. We'll, we'll see how this goes. 19 point crit with a stun, and he's down to another 12 points. He's down to uh, one bar, another 15 with a quick strike. So our first hit was a crit at a regular, and we stunned him. Then we got a quick strike, quick strike in, so uh, much reduced. I guess I should show it for folks that don't know. Uh, wrong screen. <laughs> um, not what I was looking for. So we have the rapid strike technique. So that's what the quick strike is talking about. This is the rapid strike firing off. So it's half the number of moves. So the normal number of moves to attack uh, with this is 106. So it's only costing me 53 moves. So I get two strikes basically in a round when I get rapid strikes. So that's what those two were. Um, and we only do 66 damage, but I mean total, that's 132 damage, 132% of damage in a single round. Um, so. And he stabbeth me. So he either bypassed the 95% yet again with his very first attack, or he hits hard enough that he went right through the armor. It said the armor protected me, so yeah, he went through the plate mail. He's got some damage. <laughs> He's got some damage. Ouch. Well, maybe not, because he hit twice. He hit my right arm. Blocked a little bit of it, but I, I think he did bypass the armor again. And then he, uh, he hit the torso, but the armor did protect, so I think he bypassed it. Down he goes. Hey, now, where's the rapier? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so, there's the rapier. Pretty heavily damaged. Thin sword, ornate hand, hand guard. But it is steel. It's a real rapier. We'll take it. See if I can fix it up with the welder. I might have enough first or uh, fab to fix it up. Can I carry it? I can't carry it. Well, that's a problem. 
because I still don't have a way of carrying the pickle. I'll have to drag it downstairs. So, you to here. Drag. Leave you there. Get the uh, bleeding stopped. Nothing new or interesting has shown up. No. Yeah, wandering around in the uh, the mansions probably not a good idea with the level. Whoa, crap! Ah, I didn't need that. Um, and I don't have the rapier yet. Run! Ooh, now I gotta think. He missed with me with his initial spit attack. If I charge him, I might be able to get him down before he spits again. But then I've got the pupating to deal with. And other stuff might start showing up, and I'm already down a point. I think a better play is to do that. Close the door. Get downstairs. Put that outside. Can I do it fast enough, or is he going to pop downstairs and instantly acid below my feet? Cool. Alright, so we have a rapier so far. Crouch. And activate. Arc welder. Rapier, success chance, 10%. Or no dot no damage chance is the only thing you care about. 500 battery per U. What? Charge is 500, 500. Uh, if you say so. All right, let's uh, put the tonfa or put the pickle back on my seat and wield the uh, rapier. One other thing I forgot. <laughs> Rappers. Rapier. Okay, so uh, what do we got? Three bash, 28 pierce, plus two with precise strike. Stun two turns on crits only. Rapid strike we're familiar with and high blocking, which is really good. Now, what we don't have is any skill. <laughs> so our uh, our pierce damage, our pierce weapon skill is one. Um... I mean, that's that's fine. I'll, I'll try the rapier for a little bit. I just wish I had... Uh, I need a way of... Yeah, I need, a, I need a scabbard. What does the rapier fit into? It tells me somewhere. A whole bunch of things. Uh, back scabbard. Regular scabbard. Let's go for the uh, regular scabbard, I think. Probably not a good place to be crafting this kind of stuff. We're going to fail lots. Once again, we're missing a bunch of proficiencies. We got all the tools. We got all of the components. Um, <laughs> one day and six hours. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's not try that quite right at this moment. Um... So, we know we've got a spitter zombie. Well, looks like pupating came out. I wonder if I can do enough damage quickly enough to kill the pupating. Uh-oh. <laughs> Back in the vehicle. Not sure if that crashing noise... Standard zombie. Hmm. Don't have any rubber boots. Come here, you. What do we get? Precise for 28, stun. Quick, quick, quick. Down he went. Yeah, against uh, soft targets like this, regular zombies, the rapier is fine. I just know that stupid bitter sitting right here as soon as I step out. Hey what? 
let's pull him forward. Oh, there he is. He came up behind me. Job driving. Uh, yep. Come and get me. That won't do you any good while I'm in my vehicle. So, he spit acid, but I'm in my vehicle. I won't take acid damage. So this is another way of dealing with acid uh, enemies. If you got your vehicle nearby, or any vehicle nearby, hop into the vehicle, and you're protected from the splatter of acid on the ground. Uh, the pupating switched into a flash raptor. Uh, uh, hmm. All right, I'm willing to give this flesh raptor a try, but let's ditch our leather backpack. In the vehicle. He's not going to suffer the movement penalty. Um. Yeah, in the vehicle. Come on in, buddy. Missed. Only reason I did it was because I knew he does the hit and run routine. So even if I can't hit him and he hits me, I'll, I'll be able to close the door and drive off. Well, there we go. 35 percent, 35 point precise critical hit. Flesh Raptor's dead. So for things like that, you want weapons with bonuses. Uh, the plus two to hit bonus is what you're looking for. So right there, very important. Anything fast and dodgy, you want to be using something with uh, quick attack, so uh, as low a movement uh, per attack, and then uh, to hit bonus. So combat knife would have been another good choice because you don't need to do a lot of damage. They're they're low hit point enemies. The trick is you just got to land the blow. So you want to go with quick attacks with high to hit bonuses. So having a assortment of weaponry available to you um, in as sane and encumbering management as possible, meaning you're not overloaded with a million scabbards and, and so on, uh, is pretty important. So that's why I always try to carry a piercing weapon with me. The combat knife is great for that as an interim piercing weapon, really fast weapon against flying creatures and super fast dodgy creatures. Um, rapier kind of fills the same status, so I, eh, I'll probably keep them both, but we'll see. But yeah, having options is always good. You want to switch out as necessary for whatever you're fighting. So the game has nested storage now? It does. It has for a while now. It's pretty well sorted out. <clears throat> we can do all sorts of fun things with inventory now. Things hold things. So when I drop my, my leather backpack right here, do, do, right here, <laughs> my leather backpack contains 54 items and I can press a, oop, oop. come on, get back here. <laughs> I press the right key. No, that's not gonna do it either. Here, we'll do it this way. Put the backpack back on my body. All right, so leather backpack. So it shows leather backpack, and it shows what items are inside that particular backpack. You can move items around. You can you can do all sorts of stuff. They've made some other changes here recently. Really step into the asses bladder. No, no. <laughs> Apparently, it still thinks it's below me, even though I won't take any damage from it. That's kind of funny. All right, let's play stab them in the bush again. You know, not not that kind of bush. So would we get there? Quick strike, quick strike, quick strike, quick strike. <laughs> That's a lot of quick strikes. And then a precise hit for the final. The last enemy holding you collapses. So I have not been pulping any of the enemies. I do have to be a little cautious about uh, them getting back up if I spend too much time here in the local area. Don't care, don't care. I would like to look a little more around the mansion. I think my chances of uh, finding any armor, if there's going to be some, is gonna be better up here. So let's try to peek into a few more rooms. We can do so without too much problem. I'm looking for more, mostly more mannequins. Uh-oh, predator. Now we're talking. 
This is one of the enemies you fear the most in the early mid game. Super fast, super jump. They hit super hard. They've got a an initial nasty, nasty attack. We're pretty well geared up for him. I'd like to get the backpack dropped, and I'd like to force him onto difficult terrain if I can manage it. So I'm going to let him come at me. I'm going to backtrack to here. I'm going to drop my backpack. And the reason I'm doing that... Whoa, and he's arrived. <laughs> the reason I'm doing that is because my torso encumbrance with the backpack is way higher. And my 26 torso encumbrance without it is already costing me these negatives. So my melee attack rolls are only at a 0 0.93. I'm losing 0 0.7 due to, uh, or 0 0.07 due to the current um, encumbrance. So this is my number without the backpack uh, throwing me off balance. Plus my melee movement points are also increased. So it takes more action points, movement points. So this is about the best prep I could do for the fight ahead of time. I got a little bit of painkiller in my system. We got plate armor that hopefully he's gonna he's gonna scratch his nails against. If he gets lucky, as so many of these other zombies have, and uh, you know bypasses my armor, it's gonna suck. He is also full strength. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a roll. So we got a good initial strike in, thirteen damage. Another quick strike, so he'll get an attack after this next swing. So those two quick strikes were my two freebies, basically. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> All right, so we missed. We blocked a little bit of the damage, but enough got through that he uh, scratched our left leg. So once again, I bring your attention to 95% plate armor, legs, 95%. He does not do enough damage to bite. Well, do predators? No, especially not if I blocked some. So once again, he bypassed the uh, the armor to actually do damage. So I I just have such issues with these numbers sometimes. I run into these sequences where it's just over and over and over again. They're bypassing. Oh, come on! Don't be missing. That's two misses in a row. I can't afford that. So predators are again in the glass cannon category. If you're familiar with MMO terminology, glass cannon usually re is representing a wizard in uh, multiplayer online games. In that, they do a high amount of damage output, but they're very easy to kill if you can get on top of them or get some damage on them. So low hit points and armor, high damage output is a glass cannon, and um, that's kind of what predators are. So if if you can land hits, they go down fairly quickly. It's just you gotta land the hits. And they're quick, they're dodgy, they hop all over the place, they have their special attacks. And we missed again. Bleeding from two locations now. We got a third strike, but he's still not down another bar. We missed again. We hit him. We hit him. So one more hit. He might bleed to death. Or not. He doesn't show any bleed. Really? Stabbing him with a rapier over and over? Does rapier not do bleed wounds like uh, like cut damage? That seems a little weird. Miss. Down he goes. Of course, we got a crit on the final one. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, we don't have too many more of those coming at us. We'll throw a bandage on our bleeding wounds. And let's put some real bandages on as well. Uh, just that one for now. All right, nothing fun. Close these, get our stamina back. Throwing knife. I wish you could find more of these. I wish they came in like a set. Why does it have to be a throwing knife? Not useful. Give me like three throwing knives. <laughs> Alright, this is one of the rooms I was trying to get to. I see some goodies. I see some potential goodies. Alright, what do we got? Nothing. Spiral stone and a baseball for dodge training. Gold ring. The Nodachi. Ooh, if that's a real one, that's one of the good weapons. It's a little heavier than I kind of usually like, but um, that's one of the good ones. Please be real. 
Does the Nodachi have different versions? I don't remember. Are there fake versions of the Nodachi? I'm not sure there are. Guess we'll find out. A cavalry saber. There's another opportunity. Compound crossbow. All right, let's go straight for the Nodachi. Uh, I don't want to break it with my rapier. Uh, let's wield. Come here, crowbar. Oh, I gotta go back and get my <laughs> my bag. I forgot my bag again. All right, come on. Too big to pick up. Of course it is. Nodachi steel. It is real. Huge curve two-handed sword from Japan. Yes. Look at this. 44 cut. Plus two to hit bonus. But slow. You pay for that. Brutal strike. Stuns for a turn. Knockbacks a tile. Rapid strike. Which is ridiculous for a big-ass heavy weapon like this. But okay. Medium block. And wide strike. Meaning you can hit three things in front of you. It hits uh, all three positions. Ahead. Ahead to the right. Ahead to the left. So you can swing in an arc on a crit with at least three melee. You gotta have minimum of three melee skill. You can do a wide strike. Get multiple hits at once. So the downside is that it's so slow to swing. Very slow. So depends on your armor, depends on what you're facing. You would whip the Nodachi out. This would be good for clearing a crowd of low-level zombies because the uh, cut damage won't have a problem uh, doing just huge massive damage to them. But um, you'll get a lot of the Brutals and the Wide Strikes on those guys. But on the Predator, this would be a terrible choice. Terrible, terrible choice on the Predator. Just because of how mammothly slow it is. So, um, that's big though. So let's um, pull that aside. What else are we looking at? Don't need the walking cane, so it's just a saber, right? Is you a real saber? Yep, real saber. So this tones it down. 26 cut, 5 bash, but it's only 100 speed. A little bit less of a hit bonus, but it still has rapid strike and high block. So it's another really good weapon. And it's lightweight. So it's a good good cut weapon. Anything not armored, this would be good against. But if you're going up against like a skell jug or... Uh, maybe even a soldier. It would do a little bit of damage, probably, but it wouldn't be as good a choice. Alright, so we got a couple of weapons. Um, no armor. Drag these over here for the moment. So I'm glad we stayed. I'm only gonna find armor on the on the, the mannequins. I'm not sure how much further I'm willing to look into this place. Let's uh let's wield the Nodachi just for funds. Just for funds. Alright. Get our leather backpack back on. And work our way back downstairs. <laughs> There's a tough zombie on your way in the way. Come on, tough zombie. Get upstairs. You bum. Watch, I'm gonna go downstairs and be a skell jug or a hulk or something. <laughs> Shock zombie. Of course. I got a terrible weapon for the Shag Zombie. Am I wearing gloves? I am wearing gloves. The so, important thing to know about gloves is that uh, as long as they have 95% coverage and they do not conduct electricity, then using a metal weapon against a shock type enemy will not shock you. So if I strike him with my Nodachi, I won't get a return shock for the strike. That's always true as long as you've got hand coverings, so gloves with 95% or better coverage and that do not conduct electricity. So, like, chainmail gloves that are metal would conduct electricity, so that wouldn't work. So, I'm not worried about that part, but I, I would really rather not get shocked. Which I'm gonna, especially if I try to go get that thing, or those weapons. 
So, how to do this? There's a tiny, tiny chance he'll miss me with a shock blast, but I'm in kind of a contained area. But I gotta decide, in this kind of a circumstance, if I'm gonna get shocked. There's a small chance I could avoid the shock, actually. If I retreat immediately, come back up here, he'll follow me in. I'll be able to close the door behind me, loop around and get into my car, and then I can run him over. That's probably the best move. Assuming I don't get grabbed by this guy and or that he doesn't blast before I can clear this corner. I guess another, I could go upstairs and look for another way down. Kind of depends on how many action points I have currently. I'm guaranteed to make it to that space, but I'm not guaranteed to make it there before he blasts. Oh, I'm gonna get shocked when he shot when he does the shock blast or when he hits me in melee. <laughs> then I'll get shocked. I'm only talking about in regards to my striking him with a metal weapon. I won't get a shock back when I do that. Normally you would receive an extra fun shock back. Let's risk it. What the hell? One, two, that gets him out of the line of sight. Now I need to get through the door, close it, and then around that corner without getting grabbed. So, he saw me, so he's going to follow right up into there, and he'll hear this, so he'll at least be up here. So we should be able to get to the vehicle. Got a couple of child zombies. You guys just had to get directly in my path, did you? <laughs> Alright, we'll shield with the vehicle just in case. There we go. So, we got to kill the shack zombie, then go back and get those weapons at a minimum. Uh, unfortunately, we are a little over my normal time. I think this is a good point to leave it. We'll, uh, we'll have fun with this when we return on Monday, where we'll, uh, we'll get rid of some things, and we'll keep, I think we'll keep looking through the mansion. I want to at least check the bedrooms and the upstairs bedrooms. There's still, I think, a chance of, um, finding a mannequin. I've had a couple of mansions now that I, when I've been... Doing some test worlds where I've spotted like a mannequin in a random bedroom that had medieval armor. So they seem to have spread it around a bit more. So, yeah, let's let's put a save in right here. All right. Uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Thanks very much, everybody. Hope you had some fun watching some Cataclysm. We'll be back on Monday, every Monday and Friday from 4 to 8. Central U.S. is uh, when I do my Cataclysm streaming. Um, so, hope to see you then. Let me check to see if there's uh, somebody online that... Uh, nope, none of my folks are on that I can... See.